my gosh, that's epic. <laughs> All right, well, we are here today at the Magical Goodwill. That is what it is called now. We have made that its name. Um, we are here today, and we are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So here we go. So Dagny met me on this shopping trip, as she usually does, and we decided that our best plan of action was to divide and conquer. And so she went in one direction, and I went in the other, and we set off in search of treasures. I decided to start with the red aisle. And this looked interesting. And so did this. But unfortunately, this doesn't really have a high resale value. So I passed on that. Over here on the other side, I did notice this Italian dish. It kind of had a faux wooden finish, and I liked the florals on it, so I did decide to grab that. Now, I did find this picture on the shelf, and I loved the floral design of it, but they had it marked for $9.99. I felt like that was high. Um, now that I'm editing, I did look up comps, and I really couldn't find anything comparable for that. This bag of napkin holders, I believe, are loons, and I did put a comp up there for similar napkin holders, but I could not find any identical, so I think those are going to do pretty well. I really liked this pig. It was $3.99. It was made in India, but I loved just the way it was kind of primitive looking, and it had that curly cue. I just thought it was interesting, but it's a candle holder. And it was only $3.99. Now I did notice this little carnival glass bowl up on the shelf. This is made by Jeanette Glass and it is the Louisa pattern. And unfortunately it doesn't have a very high resale value. This pottery piece I liked this and I thought it would make a very nice centerpiece for a table and so I did grab this because there were no chips or cracks on it it seems like something that would chip and crack easily but it looked to be in good condition and there was another pottery piece this one was marked on the bottom it was $3.99 I've got a thing for pottery what else can I say I'm not sure the resale value on that because it is a studio art pottery piece. Now I did find this zebra mask for $1.99 and I thought it would make a nice wall decor piece. This reminded me of a piece that I had picked up recently at another Goodwill that had the fused glass. It was a mix of pottery and fused glass and I decided to pick this up. Now down here on the bottom was an otagiri covered dish and it comps about 20 to 30 dollars. There was also a stein and I suspect this is a German stein and not American however there were no markings on it. It was it, it seemed to be good quality unfortunately there was a some sort of manufacturer's error there on the outside but when I opened it up there were there was no indication of it on the inside so it will still hold liquid you can see this piece was a little rusted <laughs> it was quite the statement piece and this reminded me of my good friend Yvonne Now I noticed these pelicans up here, these salt and pepper shakers. I passed on these, but Dagny ended up grabbing them, which I thought was wonderful because I was kind of on the fence. I found this pair of mugs and I really liked these. They were pottery and I decided that I would take these. I've been trying to avoid just regular mugs, but there was something that set these mugs apart. Now 
There was a wooden bird here. It looked like it wasn't finished, like it needed to be painted or sanded or something. I did find this primitive little box with pineapple designs on it. I do not believe it's actually super old. I think it's just made to look primitive, but I kind of liked the design and I decided to grab it even though there were no price tags on it. They ended up not selling it to me because there wasn't a price tag on it, so that was unfortunate. But I found this little brass key hook and I did grab that. There was a whole set of dishes here and if you guys haven't picked up on it yet I usually avoid sets of dishes they're not something I like to mess with so I avoid them there were a few polar bears in this box up here were a few cute little bunny figurines and an owl mug I did like the owl mug found a little bird for 99 cents, but I didn't see a whole lot of resale value in the bird, unfortunately. These bowls I found interesting because the texture on the outside kind of reminded me of the surface of the moon, and I'm not sure who makes them because there was no markings, but they were just kind of a little weird. Then I spotted this, <laughs> and this is Catalina Pottery USA. That's a pretty decent piece right there. So I did end up grabbing that and sticking it in my cart. I noticed these glasses as well, but I wasn't sure who made them. Here on the end cap, there was a crock that had been painted and down on the bottom, there were a few geese. They were $3.99 each. They weren't super old. I'd say they're probably vintage. They're a little bit too much to ship, but I had envisioned them for one of our booths. So I did end up grabbing these to stick in our booth. One of our booths. I'm not sure which one. This was kind of an art glass dish, but it was marked Pier 1 Imports on the bottom. This decanter, I looked at the bottom to see if there was any etching on the bottom, but when I picked it up, I was also surprised at how light it was, and so that indicated to me that it was not crystal. Usually when I buy decanters, I try to buy crystal decanters because they do better. This was a nice green vase with grapes on it. I suspect it would probably glow under black light. Unfortunately, there was a chip on the rim. I found this little pig pottery sculpture. I thought he was interesting. He was $2.99. Unfortunately, there were no markings on him, but I did decide to grab him. I eventually decided that that was not the best place for him and he needed to move. And so I placed him down comfortably on the coat. And then I found this. And this was $1.99. This is uh, folk art from Mexico. It is half of a coconut shell that has been painted and the mermaid has been added and I just thought it was a fun dish. So I did end up sticking that in my cart, obviously. There were a few salt and pepper shakers here they were thomas kincaid lennox i wasn't sure about those so i left them this green dish i have had this same style pottery in the past and i'm not sure who makes i believe it's asian i'm not sure if it's chinese or japanese but i did grab that and stick that in my cart it's kind of a celadon glaze that i liked i've got a spool of twine here with primitive looking scissors and I'm not sure what about this appealed to me but for some reason I decided for $3.99 I was going to buy it 
I also liked this basket, but unfortunately the duct tape repair just really wasn't doing it for me. There were a few dishes on the end cap. Oh, maybe just a single, there was a single dish on the end cap. Now I did finally meet up with Dagny and she was rocking out in the aisle to the loud music that you cannot hear. She's got some pottery in her cart, a little bit of Eldrith and a floral frog. This bowl was really neat and it was signed on the bottom. I'm not familiar with that artist, but I loved the colors of that bowl. Oh. I was going to get the, the Mount Vernon soaps, <laughs> but I decided to get that pottery instead. It says... It's like a kitty fish. Oh, it is look like a kitty fish. And then like at the back here. For $1.99, I think I'll figure it out. It's I like the, it. It's the pottery in this teapot. I know, my part is full of pottery too. I've got like so much pottery. Oh, and I thought ridiculous. this was neat too. It's, like um, I think it's more modern and shorter in a sense. Mm -hmm. You've had stuff like that, but isn't that England? Yes. I thought I it was like pretty. It. I like it a lot. And then I got a drink too. Where did you find that? It was on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> now Dagny did point out this bowl to me as I was passing into the next aisle because she had passed on this. It was $6.99. It was marked on the bottom, but I could not make out this signature. I believe it's probably Germany, but I loved the colors. It's likely a berry bowl or a dessert bowl with the smaller bowls there. The entire set for $6.99 and I grabbed it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love it so much. You didn't want it? No, it's too heavy. It's signed. What? Take it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I found another one of these primitive boxes. It had the date of 1890 on it. There was also no price tags on this. And this one I decided to leave because there were no price tags on it. This was interesting. And it was $1.99. I was not familiar with the design on it, but what really attracted me to it and the reason I bought it was because of this code on the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's a secret code. And I am all for secret codes, and I decided I would buy it and decipher the code when I got home. And doing, doing that was worth $1.99 for me, even with the little flu bites around the room. I have yet to decipher the code, even though it's been about a week. There you go. We're not done yet. There were some strawberry dishes here. These were actually hand painted. I expected them to be marked on the bottom, but they were not marked. And you could see there's a lot of chipping on the edges there. And so I passed because of the chipping on those. This looked to be similar to the pig. So I picked it up to check out the bottom, but it did not look very promising. And so I did leave that there on the shelf. I love how this Goodwill has an entire shelf full of fake flowers. I think it's just wonderful. Now I kind of zeroed in on this tray set here. This was really interesting because when Dagny looked it up, it appears as though all of these little embellishments were added after the fact. So this is kind of a craft piece, but I love the little glass beads on it. You can see it fits right there neatly in my cart. I looked through some of the silver plate here because I have found silver at this Goodwill. You can see that somebody tried to polish that and it did not turn out well. Now I did find these dishes right here and 
I recalled finding these in the past with birds on them. These are made by Monroe Salt Works and they have a pretty good resale value. They were not marked. Uh, some are, but these were not. I also found this bowl and the bottom appeared to be more modern, but I just, I walked by it a few times and every single time my eye, it was drawing my eyes. And so I finally decided no regrets. I'm going to grab it. Now these pieces were Williamsburg reproduction pottery. At least one of them was, I'm not sure about the others. I usually skip these pieces. I noticed this basket here it reminded me of a basket that I picked up about a week ago at the same Goodwill, but it was a little bit different and it wasn't as heavy and good quality. Now, this cream soup caught my eye, but behind the cream soup was this figurine. This figurine seemed to be very good quality. It was very heavy, which was surprising. I suspect that it is a German figurine, and I was looking it over to see if there were any markings. There does appear to be some sort of embossing on the bottom, but it's very faint. I did decide to put her back up on the shelf, but then I thought better of it and I grabbed her and put her in my cart. There was a little shell dish here. It was made in Taiwan, but it was a little mermaid. She was cute. I do often check the dolls here. However, it doesn't appear that they usually get new dolls. It's always the same dolls over and over again. This bowl right here was so heavy. It was probably like eight pounds. When I set it down, the whole shelf shook. I did like this glass bowl here. It was kind of a reverse painted. I believe it's modern and I don't think it has a very high resale value. You can see those pineapple dishes are still there from the last time. Now Dagny did find this piece and she was drawn to it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's probably a bud vase of some sort. I don't think she ended up with it because it did not have a price tag on it. I spotted this chair from across the aisle. Unfortunately, you can see that there is some damage on it. The seams there are starting to come apart and I debated it, but it was $9.99, and with the damage, I just decided that it was better that I passed on it. But I do suspect that this was probably a doll's chair. Actually, I thought maybe it was like Samantha's from the American Girl doll's chair, but I don't know. This chair, on the other hand, was also $9.99, and it was a nice wooden like Windsor back rocker, and it was also a doll's chair and in much better condition. I know they don't care. Oh, I thought they were adorable. Oh, they were really cute. Because they're Key West, Florida, and they're pelicans, and you usually don't see pelicans. I like them. I like them a lot. Let me see an Aldous mug. I don't think I got a close-up. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. The mug's not Aldous? What is the mug? No, this. What? What is the mug? The mug. This. Oh, this. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's fancy. Something, something, something. I, I like it. It's like, yeah. And I like that. I love this. That I can read. That says all Ooh, wee. That's a nice one. Mixing bowl? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Robinson, Robinson Rams, Rams, Rams Bottom. Rob at your service. <laughs> what can I grab? Rams Bottom. There's two of these, and I feel like they need to be together on the shelf. Hold on. You know, just merchandising. There, and put this with this. There you go. Put the brass with the brass, the birdhouses with the birdhouses. You know, while they're restocking, it's not like we have anything else to do. Dagny did decide to pick up this pair of doves off the end cap and stick those in her cart. Now, if you have seen anything that she picked up that you would like to purchase, you can find a link to her eBay shop down in the description under shop with our friends. 
I found this pair of fused glass coasters, or what I'm assuming to be coasters. They were 99 cents each, and they were two different sizes, but I did like the purple glass. And Dagny found this clock, and what was interesting about this clock is that it was signed on the back. So we decided that that was really exciting. It does look like there may have been uh, some little hanging arms on it, and we decided that we needed to improvise and maybe find something that would hang for the clock. So I took to looking on the shelves to find something for her. This did not have a hook, so the spatula was a no-go. It would have made for a very unique clock, though. Now I did look through the purses and this has probably been the most exciting day of purses I have ever had because I have been learning and I, I feel pretty good about the purses today for a number of reasons. The first reason is this purse right here and this was a Lucky brand purse and from digging through the purses on almost every video and being told I missed this and I missed that, I knew that this was a brand that I did not want to miss. And so I did end up grabbing this Lucky Brand purse because it was very boho and kind of cool looking. And then I found another one. I found this Lucky Brand purse and this one was black and it was marked on the front and on the inside and it had all of these dangly fun things and then I found this and this was super exciting because this was free people and I know this brand because Casey had talked to me about this brand in the past and I remembered and so I felt pretty good about that for remembering that brand so I did grab all three of those purses and I was feeling pretty good about it feel like I did all right in the purse section this time around. But that's not all. Because now I found this one. It is a red Lucky Brand purse. And so that brings the total to three. I kind of like the red one. I'm not going to lie. It had a, a sticker that just came off in my hand, but it's all good. They were $6.99 each. And it was marked on the inside and on the outside. So I'm, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good about purses. Like I've, I'm finally accomplishing what I set out to do. And that is learn purses. I still have a long way to go though. Dagny found this giant ball of yarn. I guess this is meant to be spun into yarn. And she told me she does have a spinning wheel, so she is capable of doing this. And I thought, wow, I don't think I know anyone else who has a spinning wheel, but that's really cool. This box was empty. It was a little disappointing. And then she found this little tray of shells. I did notice this spongeware, and I decided to check the bottoms on those. This duck teapot had a made in China mark on the bottom. And they were just bringing out a new cart, so you can see us moving towards the new cart. And I tried to act like I was busy looking at baskets with bird poop on them. Look, there's another one. Look, bird poop. Trust me, I know what that looks like. I have four birds. Dagny found this in one of the bins, and this was really neat. I really liked the blue and white porcelain. It appears there is a faded mark on the bottom, but it was only $2.99, and I feel like that was pretty good. I did find this doll, and you guys know that I try to avoid dolls unless there's just something about them and there was just something about this doll. It, it was interesting. And I decided that I would give it a shot. Now, when we got up to check out, I did look in the case and there were three art glass pens and some figurines. And there was what appeared to be a thimble there with a mouse on it. 
and a little bitty snail. So I did ask if she would take these items out so that I could have a closer look at them. And here you go. There is an art glass dog, a little art glass snail. Now the pens did not work, unfortunately, so I did leave those. All right, well, today our total spend was $153 plus $17 because I actually went back and got back in line to buy those little glass figurines. I did leave the pens behind because they did not work. They were not workable. I tried them on some old receipts in my purse. They didn't work, so I left those behind. They were marked Made in China on the box, so it was whatever. But anyway, I am going to get out of here now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like we just completely loaded up the cart. It was kind of insanity. And um, I'm really pleased with everything we've got. So on that note, I am going to get out of here and I will see all of you tomorrow. Later.